garlic is unique from a lot of other garden crops because you plant it in the fall before the ground freezes. It goes dormant over the winter, and then as the ground warms up in the spring, it starts growing again. Then it's ready for harvest early summer. I planted this garlic, which is a hardneck variety, on Halloween of last year, and now it's ready to harvest. This was actually harvested on June 14th, so by the time this video is out, I'll probably be about done curing it to store. You'll know your garlic is ready to harvest when the tips begin browning and falling over. We're expecting some rain, so I want to be sure and pull it before that. You want to harvest garlic when the ground is dry. You also want to use the shovel very carefully to avoid cutting any garlic. If you accidentally cut a bulb, you're not going to be able to store it, although it will still be good to use fresh. One really nice thing about garlic is because you harvest it early in the summer, it gives you plenty of time to plant a second crop behind it. So once this is out, I'm going to be planting cucumbers on this trellis. As I'm pulling the garlic, unless there's a large amount of dirt on it, I leave it alone. I don't want to risk damaging that protective covering that's on the garlic. I can always brush any extra dirt off of it when it's finished curing before I store it. Garlic is one of the crops that I consider fun to grow. Maybe I just enjoy digging them up to see what we have, or maybe it's because you harvest them all at once and you're done. Any way you look at it, you should definitely consider growing garlic in your garden. Once all the garlic bulbs are pulled, it's time to cure it. Now if you want to use it fresh, you don't have to do this. But if you plan on keeping it long term through the winter until your next garlic harvest, this is an important step not to skip. 
you want to lay it out in a single layer in a cool dry place out of the sun making sure there is good airflow to guarantee they dry and don't mold or rot. These will actually go down to our basement to cure. It's just not a good place to video and be able to see what I'm doing. Another way to cure your garlic is to bundle some together and hang them up to dry. Again, you just wanna make sure that it's cool, dry, out of the sun, and good airflow. Once everything is ready, I'll take it down to our basement where it can cure for a few weeks until all the foliage is nice and dry. Then I will show you what we do to store it long term. As always, thank you for joining me on the homestead.